<laughs> good, good catch, good catch. <clears throat> well, anyways, hey guys, Brian here, and today we're going to be doing a unboxing of a live fish. Yeah, so anyway, let's begin. So I'm unboxing a live fish, and well, I guess you can't really call it an unboxing because it's already, the box is already open, but of course I don't, really don't want to show something dead on camera, even if it's a fish or something, because, you know, just ethics and YouTube, but I'm unboxing a fish, and let's begin. So right off the bat, we can tell this box, it's, it has a lot of stickers, it says perishable, because it's a live animal. I handle with care. I got it from uh, UPS shipped it, so I don't know if they really did handle it with care. I didn't get to see the guy. He just knocked on the door and left the box. So let's open our fish and see what we got. I'm gonna put this fish into a 60 uh, gallon hex aquarium. The fish in question is a. And look, we got two papers. The fish in question is a crappie. I black crappie. There's two types of crappie, black and white. But I got a black crappie. Uh, yeah, they're. The fish is actually native to this uh, area. They're really common to where I live. Um, I've never been able to catch them, ever, even though I've caught a lot of fish. But I ordered it online, uh, four, four inch, supposedly four inches long, so this paper. Just says a couple of advice on how to acclimate fish to a tank, so float the bag on top of the water, that works. Releasing your fish may result in fish keeping being made altogether illegal. Please never release your captive fishes outdoors, and that's true. That's good advice because fish um, that you buy exotically, even though if it's the same species that already lives in a lake, if you release it, it might have a different disease uh, vectors, or it could just be invasive. Many pla in many places, it is illegal to release fishes into any body of water. That's true, unless it's a private pond or a lake, and even then, you have to be careful. What to do with unwanted, sick, or dead fishes. Excess live fishes can be shared with other aquarists by trading, selling, or donating them to club auctions or pet shops. Many aquarists will be glad to accept gifts of unwanted fish from time to time, or fish may be painlessly euthanized. We're not going to euthanize our fish because it's going to be the main attraction of our new tank. In my 60 gallon tank, I currently have a Placosimus. He's a decent size. He's 3, 4 inches. About the same. Now he's smaller than the crappie definitely so let's uh, open it so let's actually take this out of the thermo chill overnight something all right so if you might be wondering where I got this fish I got it from Jonah's aquarium dot com it replaced itself a bunch of native uh, American fish at a good reasonable price shipping is reasonable considering it's a live animal being shipped and, of course, I had to check if the fish was alive in the first place. So let's put the box aside there, make sure I didn't show my dress or anything. Let's open. So here we got the thermal regulated box, and we have the bag here. And we have some thermal safe polar pack, which presumably keeps the fish thermally insulated. So we got a crappie. I don't know if you could see him that well right here. You'll be able to see him later. But he's pretty small for crappie. I actually don't know a lot about crappies, but I've done my research on and seen care sheets on how to care for them. He looks very pretty. He or she, I'm not sure how to tell the difference in gender for crappie. Bag has a lot of oxygen. The shipping was a day and a half. It, it, it was really quick. Quicker than I expected. It's not like... Amazon where they say, oh, we're sorry, we're going to have to ship tomorrow. They would have done that with that fish. They'll probably run out of oxygen. So let's get right to it and put the fish into the 60 gallon tank, acclimate it, and I'll show some footage of the fish afterwards if I have time. So here we have our fish. We're acclimating the bag. We're going to leave them there 10, 15 minutes. I don't know if I could uh, catch the pleco. We have a uh, heater the pleco is probably at the back of the tank or he might be inside of the little house the pleco if you don't know what it is it's those uh, algae eaters they stick to the tank and eat stuff eat algae 
and clean up the tank. And there he goes. He's in the tank. He found a little spot. He's probably can't fit there and the Pocosmos is probably there. But he looks alright there. Might uh, hopefully I'll start exploring his tank soon. But yeah, that was uh, today's fish unboxing. Probably the only <laughs> fish unboxing I'll do. But you never know. You know. So anyways guys, that's it for today. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good day, good night, wherever you guys are. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.